Okay. Now we'll talk about elements of a film. Essentially, what is in a film? These are the kind of things that make a film what it is. In terms of reviewing a film, you need certain specific parameters. The elements of a film then become those parameters which help you understand what a film actually is. It helps you understand what is it that goes inside a film, goes in the making of a film, in the presentation of a film, and uh, through those elements is how we uh, review the films. Okay, the first one is called narrative. Narrative is the most basic element of a film. Narrative is also the idea of the film, the content of the film. It is saying that that everything that makes a film, the story of it, the plot of it, is all the narrative. But uh, just the content, just the written part of what a film is, is not just narrative. Narrative goes way beyond that. Narrative is way beyond the plot of a film. It is what the movie is about, how it flows, uh, what are the character arcs, the conflicts, the world that is created. I'll give you an example. In case of a documentary film, you don't really necessarily have a story, but you have a theme. So say if you are watching a film on education, the, what the movie is about then becomes education. Education is the theme of that movie. It's the, it's the uh, content of that movie. How it flows is how you've structured it. What is the angle that you've taken? What is the idea and ideology that you've taken? So ideology is basically what is it that you're trying to portray through your film? If it's a film about education, what are you trying to talk about? Are you trying to talk about online Zoom classes? So then that becomes the how of your film. So cinematography. Cinematography is once you've written your film, once uh, you have figured out, okay, okay, you know what? I want to make a film on this topic. This is what I'm going to show. And you've written it all down. Once you've scripted it uh, and you've made a plan for it, then you actually go out and shoot it. So cinematography is your writing in movement. So it's, it's the visualization of your narrative, the framing, tones, colors, camera movements and angles. Visualization of narrative is exactly like what I said about writing something, but then thinking about it visually, thinking about it in the sense that, okay, you know what, this is a line. Now, how do I pictureize something like this? That is thinking visually and giving a visual narrative to it. How you give a visual narrative is through framing. So see, in this GIF that's that's there, the framing is made in such a way that it shows the, uh, the train passing, but also the people who are waiting there. So the frame is essentially everything that you do. A lot of people try to uh, take a lot of uh, framing techniques, like they'll place the object at the center of the screen, or they'll place the object at one side of the screen or this side of the screen to bring forth some sort of, uh, you know, visual relief. So that becomes your framing. Tones and colors is if you're making, say, a black and white film, as opposed to you making uh, something that's in, in, in a yellowish, tingish tone, like a sepia tone, okay? Or opposed to something that you're making uh, as something that's very colorful, like uh, one of the most, um, I, I, I want to say revered film in this regard is Wizard of Oz in which they show two different worlds, okay? And even like the whole idea of Alice in Wonderland, it's about the world that was created then. And then when she goes to Wonderland, it's all colorful and beautiful. So the tones and colors then depend on that. And again, your camera movements and angles. For this, the camera is exactly stable. The gif that you're seeing, the camera is stable and the things are moving, the subject is moving, the train is moving. But the camera could also be moving. The camera could be moving uh, towards the train, away from the train. The camera uh, could be moving around a subject, you know, 360 degree around a subject. That becomes your camera movement. Camera angle is, say, someone is standing straight, but you want to picture them uh, you know, horizontally. So you, horiz you know, tilt your camera and show them horizontally and then bring it forward. Things like those. Those are camera angles. This is essentially what cinematography is. The third thing is a French term called mise-en-scène. So mise-en-scène is everything that appears inside a frame. The frame of a film is exactly what you're seeing on this uh, on a screen uh, on a uh, on the screen right now. Wow. Okay, and it's a GIF. Uh, each, this is a shot that you're seeing on the screen. Each of those shots can be broken down into frames. One second of any shot, any recorded footage, one second of any shot has 24 frames. 
essentially because that's the standard that we use for filmmaking so everything that appears inside a frame or a shot is is the mise en scene of the shot this includes everything like uh, the location the actors the composition of the frames the props that you're using so editing now once you've shot your footage you then edit it editing is basically you know like when you're analyzing a film editing is how your film comes alive the visual imagery that you're trying to show the visual effects that you're trying to show the animations the sound all of it that you're trying to show is in the edit of it editing is something that defines the mood of the film the tone of the film and the coherence of the film which means that if it is edited um, in a choppy manner where there is like shot after shot after shot and there is no breathing space or if it is edited in a way that it gives you you know like there are some edits when you're watching a film it makes you feel dizzy like okay you know what like stop moving there's a lot to process here so then that becomes a mood of the film in a lot of suspense and horror and mystery films what they do is uh they edit it in such a way and they put you know effects in such a way that it enhances the experience of it so, so the whole idea of creating something like this can be done through creating something like suspense can be done through editing because editing is essentially what defines the mood of it the next step is the next element is sound sound uh when you're seeing a film uh, how you define sound is by defining the dialogues that were there in that film if they were clear if they were uh, adding to the meaning of the film uh, the music that's in the film the sound effects that take place within the film and the silence one of the most uh, important parts of sound design is to understand where to fit silences in because silence in a movie theater when you're seeing a film gives you a very unrest you know a sense of unrest it could also be used to heighten a sense of emotion so suppose if someone if the character is in conflict or if the character has gotten some really bad news essentially what they'll do is that they'll silence it or they'll uh, if the person is dying like the flat lining of the curb when they're in the hospital that flat lining is the only sound that you'll hear or uh, you know just trying to add music to it so if say i am talking to someone if honestly on this zoom call you put a sound track that is really sad in the background everyone will think this is some sort of a sad emotional film that should be the idea of sound to create meaning to enhance the experience and to heighten the emotion 